Mrs. Pritchard. I haven't got much time. I'll talk quickly. I'm intrigued by what you're doing. I'm not doing anything. Not really. I was just making a point. A small point, perhaps, and possibly one I shouldn't have made here in Green Gages. Not on television. Not without permission from Kitty Porter. You don't want to lay all your cards on the table. That's fine. I'm not sure I have any more cards to put on the table. Are you all right? No, I think I'm just about to get sacked. Rather spectacularly. Ross Pritchard. Kitty Porter. Rose. Hello. Hope you don't mind us dropping in, that is. Oh, no. It's your, um, conglomerate. <laughs> oh, this is Miranda Lennox. How'd you do? So who else have you got on board? I, I was just introducing No, them. I would like to be involved. So would I. I thought you were going to sack me. <laughs> How many people have you got standing? Well, 42 at the last count. All women, funnily enough. I haven't spoken to them all yet, but... Uh, Mrs... Sorry, Roz. Do you understand how extraordinary this is? Well, yes, I, I, I do. Now, 42 people want to stand on your platform in 42 constituencies. 43. And it's less than 24 hours since you put your name forward. Uh, it's extraordinary. Oh, can I, just out of interest... Go on. ...ask where you stand on Europe? I don't. What you feel about the economy? Look, I... <laughs> well, surely this is your biggest strength. Well, the fact that I don't know anything about politics. You have an uncynical instinct for what the people want. When you're not bringing your own baggage. But you need focus. You need a dynamic, coordinated communication strategy. Look, I'm not what you think I am. <laughs> I don't think you know what you are. Yet. Every so often, someone comes along and changes things forever. And it's never the kind of person people were expecting. Rose. <clears throat> I would like to donate ten million pounds to your national campaign fund. Right, I see. Well, um, there isn't a national campaign. As such, it's just me and these others. Six last night, forty-three today. How many tomorrow? Why would you want to give me ten million pounds? Because I believe in you. I think what you're doing is extraordinary. And I'd like to help. Ros. Hello. Sorry. Uh, the man from the Times is here. I don't quite see what there is to think about. Ten million pounds would buy you the best advertising agency, press secretary, campaign manager, everything you need to channel all this enthusiasm into a serious party political machine. I've got a store to run. I'm going to tell the man from the Times to go away. No, please, don't. I'm unlikely to be able to be what you want me to be. Mrs. Rose. Mom, if anyone on earth is equal to this in their own bonkers way, you are. Take the money. Employ the people you need. You think this country is run by people we can't trust anymore, people who have let us down, so do something. That's what you said yesterday. You've already done something unique, and now you're in a unique position to take things further. It's elegant, it's clear. Roz is at the centre of the centrist. We borrow from the left and steal from the right, and we make it our own. Bang in the middle of Middle England. What do you think of it, Roz? I like the purple. Within two weeks of standing for Parliament, Roz Pritchard is fielding more than 150 candidates.